In the active performing arts group, it was a shared dream to tell a story on stage. Through creativity, collaboration and community, they realised this dream of showcasing their abilities. This is what stars are made of. Our show is Starman and um, it is a sort of collaboration of effort between the customers and the um, staff in the performing arts team. The idea came from one of the customers who uh, was very much into to space and space exploration. The base concept started there and from that process continued along, everyone coming in and weighing in and giving their contribution to it as well. We had a lovely little old lady who started rocking out to Final Countdown. So we started collecting all of these hot favourite songs and these uh, preferences started building the basis of Starman. The star of the play is Julius, who attends Active and has Down Syndrome. I think it's really important because it gave Starman a character and the person that portrayed it, Julius, was a hero and and I think in today's society that an individual like Julius being the hero and saving the day is a is a wonderful concept. I see Julius as a person celebrating ability. He is an individual that will see opportunities in life and he will say to himself I can do that and I can show others on stage what, what can be done. I could see quite a few people with disabilities in the audience as well. So for them to be able to see people that represent them on stage doing what they love, I think is so empowering. Although he quite likes to be a private person at times, he also appreciates that opportunity to bring out um, all of the talent, all of the skill and the confidence that is actually within him. And I think for him, the live audience, being in the community, having that sense of inclusion and having people there for him to appreciate his, his ability is very profound for him, there is no doubt. So in 2013, we began our, our active performing arts team, um, started with a, a very small production, and Lee was a part of it from the very start. Julius and Lee had been very close, very, uh, very consummate performers together, and uh, you know, telling Julius that that Lee wasn't around anymore, and that uh, you know he wouldn't have his his little stage wingman. Um, yeah, th those conversations were, were really difficult. It was tough, there were lots of tears, but that was okay because death is a part of life. And these guys, they don't need to be protected from that. They need to be just as included in that as they do in other aspects of the community. Lee was just such a, an enigmatic, lovely person that everybody who met Lee um, couldn't help but like him. He was such a, such a joy to be around. With Lee's passing, it was obviously very important to us that he was still acknowledged as being, you know, essential to what it is that, that we had previously done. Uh, so we made sure that we added a, a tribute to him at the end of the show. So we dedicated the entire show uh, to Lee. So when we played the tribute, <laughs> it had just been after Julius had danced to Gangnam Style and he had an unexpected visitor on stage. We were so proud of how Julius incorporated him into the dance. And then um, Shane still wasn't quite ready to leave the stage. He was uh, really, really taking to stardom quite well. So during the tribute, there was a moment where he reached out to the screen and we just were all struck with how powerful that was because we were being so affected by the images on the screen and so was, so was Shane. Those wonderful opportunities within the Performing Arts Program, we can always see people discovering, discovering their talent, discovering their love, their passion, um, 
and discovering other people's abilities and celebrating with them as well. And that's what, that's what it's all about.